Hello, everybody. I hope you guys are doing okay. Oh, I've got some hands. And some questions. I cannot hear you, someone says. Uh, raise your hand if you can see my screen. Please raise your hand if you can see my screen. Again, please raise your hand if you can see my screen. Hello, can you all uh, raise your hand if you can hear my screen? Uh, Hello. Hello. Hi, Brianna, can you hear me now? Welcome to the webinar. You have entered. Welcome to the webinar. You have entered as an organizer and may now speak to any other organizers or panelists on the line. When you are ready to begin the presentation, press the Start Broadcast button on the GoToWebinar control panel to allow all attendees to hear you. This system will notify you once you begin your broadcast. Hey, all. So sorry for the technical difficulties. Please raise your hand if you can see my screen. Oh, oh the, I'm so relieved. I was getting these uh, questions saying, I can't hear you. And um, I just didn't know what to do. Okay. Woo. Let me put their hands down. Glad that my hands are uh, working tonight, too. It is 7.05. We started a little bit late with that technical difficulty. So I'll definitely go over um, if you guys can stay. Uh, if not, I'm so sorry. And we will definitely. Um, you know, try to minimize the amount of technical difficulties we'll have this semester. Okay. I hope everyone is having a wonderful evening. Now, Gwen, do you have a question? Gwen, if you don't have a question, put, it, uh, put your hand down. If not, I'm going to unmute you and ask you. Oh, okay. No, you don't have a question. <laughs> Good. Wait. Um... Brianna, you still can't hear me. Okay. Hmm. Brianna, can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, good. Uh, do you need any help? I don't think so. Okay, just making the sure. Okay, good. Just keep me updated if if uh, I cut out. All right, so. Um, does anyone need help with Edmodo or getting the links to the posted webinars? No? All right. Oh, Gwen, I'm sorry. I don't know why it's like that. Right now your hand is down, so that's good at least. Okay. We are... Laura, mine. Laura, I'm going to unmute. Uh, like, I can't see my profile on Enmodo. Hmm. 
Well, um, we can go through how I how I'm doing it. Oh, who do I ask and how? Laura, uh, if let's that you can't go to your profile at all. Can't see my profile, Laura. Uh, I I am definitely the person to ask. But let's talk about it at the end of class today. If you could stay over a few minutes. If the end of class today does not work, I can try to help you in an email or maybe um, get to class early on Monday or uh, maybe we could do a, a questions and help session sometime this week or later this week or weekend. Okay, Laura? Okay, let's move on. Now, we should have gotten to talking about how web site professionals, um, please raise your hand if you're having any trouble hearing me, if my audio is cutting in and out. One, one person is saying that it is, and I want to make sure it's, it's, not my computer. All right. One minute. Okay. So we talked about HTML. And HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it's not a programming language. It's a way to, in plain text, kind of put up these red flags because all the web pages, all the web pages on the internet are written uh, in HTML, saved as these HTML documents. And these documents are all saved on servers. Um, servers are like these really, really big computer, computers with a lot of storage space. Okay, and the, and the way it works is we have this hypertext transfer protocol. And this is the way that your computer at home talks to whatever big website that you're trying to go to. So maybe YouTube. And so this is the way that your computer is going to talk to YouTube's servers and go to YouTube servers and find the file for the page that you are trying to go to. And that file is opened on your computer through a web browser, which is a piece of software. That browser is going to take this document, this simple text document and translate it into something nice and viewable into these beautiful web pages that we see before us on the internet. What is the number to call in? Brianne, I don't know. I have never called in, but I think if you try to switch to telephone, on your GoToWebinar control panel, it will tell you. You found it. Okay, good. Okay. Professionals don't type out all of their code. That would take forever. Uh, they use special software. Today, we are going to be using free text editors to type out simple web pages. Okay? So, some people if they're using a Windows machine, are going to be using Notepad today. And if you're using a Mac, you can use TextEdit. And these are free pieces of software that come with your computer. Now, if you are using an iPad, or you're using a computer and you can't find Notepad or TextEdit on that computer, then you are going to use this super nifty website called practiceboard.com. 
And bear with me a little bit right now. I know that not everyone is super sure what's happening or going on, but basically we are going to be using free software that should that comes with your computer. So I guess software that comes with your computer. I'm sure you paid for it <laughs> in the price of your computer, but the software that comes on every Mac and every Windows, a very simple text editing software. And we're going to be saving physical files on our desktop and opening them with web browsers like Safari or Google Chrome. Now, if you cannot find text edit or notepad on your computer, and I'm going to go through how you do that on both a Mac and a PC, you're going to be using Practice Board. And I just sent the link out to everyone. And all this does, you're not going to be saving any files using Practice Board. This isn't software. This is browser-based. You won't be saving anything. So there will be parts that, that you just kind of watch um, as on my screen we save. And if at another point you can have access to a Mac or PC, you can look at the recording and follow it from there. But this is going to allow you to still type the HTML code and then your HTML code will come up with these changes below when you hit CHTML. Okay? I have an Apple. Should I use Pages? No, you can't use Pages. And I'm really glad that you actually brought that up. Because text edit is like a really simple version of Pages. Pages stores a ton of information in addition to just the letters that you're dealing with. So in addition to just the characters that you're typing out, Pages serves, uh, saves in, information about the font, information about the page formatting. We don't want that. That's not what we're using. If you are using a Mac, Click the little face that should be on your screen down here. This is called Finder. Click it, and on the sign bar, hit Applications. And you should see Text Edit right here. You don't want to open Text Edit Plus. You do want to open Text Edit as a new document. If you're on a PC, you can use Start down here and click Start and go into your Applications and find Notepad. Now, If you are using a PC or you are using Practice Board, you don't have to worry about this step, but I still want you to pay attention because Gwen just talked about using pages, right? Well, what you can see here, if I type something, I have text edit open right now. You can see that I can change the font. And I can change the size. That's because this is not plain text. Note, if you're using Notepad on a PC, you are already typing in plain text when Notepad is open, so you don't have to worry about this. Text edit on a Mac, you need to go into Format, Make Plain Text, and convert this document to plain text. And those formatting options should go away. All right. So here are your options right now. You're either using Practice Board because you don't have access right now to Notepad or Text Edit, or you're using Text Edit in plain text or you're using notepad. Please raise your hand 
when you're ready to move forward. You have an untitled document or you have practice board open. Again, please raise your hand when you're ready to move forward. And we're just gonna hang out here for a second. Yes, okay, could you show that again? Absolutely. Okay, you can't find it, Gwen. Um, what you can do, since you have a Mac, is click the finder up here, the little magnifying glass, and type T-E-X-T E-D-I-T. -E and, and Brianna, I'm showing it right now, okay? Please leave your hand up if you're ready to move forward. Do not put your hand down. Now text edit is open, and it will start the first time you ever open it. It will start in rich text mode. You want to change that formatting to plain text mode. Format, make plain text. And it will ask you if you want to convert, and you do. It's not there, Gwen? Huh. And you're typing... T E X T E D I T, no space. Oh, your parents deleted it. It's not letting me on practice board. Uh, Pearl, if you can't find how to change the font on text edit, that probably means that when you hit format, you see make rich text. You want it to be on plain text. So this is good. If you can't change it, then you're on plain text. Okay. Uh, Gwen, I'm sorry. Go ahead and use practice board. Vivian, what are you using that's not letting you use practice board? A school laptop? Uh, hmm. Vivian, what kind of laptop? Um, Lenovo. You should have text edit, or, or I'm sorry, notepad. So in the corner here, you should be able to hit start and look at your applications and find text edit. I want to see if there's a picture for you so I can show you. So start. Oh, that's not even a. Here we go. Oh, it should even just be there as one of your first options. Start or the little flag notepad. 